All right, this is an unscripted video. I just needed your guys' help on something. So yeah, before we start, don't worry. Your uh, YouTube 4K settings isn't broken. This is actually this this video that you're seeing right now is not actually in 4K. Uh, it is shot in 1080p because I have both my cameras cameras here at my desk. Uh, the camera that I'm using right now is an old Canon 550D. Uh, it only shoots 1080p. Anyways, I need your guys' help on something. Because if you guys didn't know, uh, ever since I kind of rebooted my channel earlier this year, uh, I have stopped shooting on DSLR. I have only used two phones to shoot all of my content. So I have been using the S22 Ultra as my main camera and I've been using the ROG Phone 6 as my B cam and I'm slowly transitioning everything from like fake 235 because uh, if you didn't know this video that you're currently watching right now is fake 235 meaning it's not actually anamorphic I can actually like push in at the top so you can see the pixels that are like being cut out by the black bars and I can also do that with the bottom pixels and I've been doing the same with the phones. I've been putting black bars on. Technically not putting black bars on because these two phones have uh, 235 shooting functions, which just crops the image. It's it's not actually anamorphic because anamorphic is a, is a physical lens attribute. Anyway, I have one of these. these uh, this is uh, the Ulanzi, I think. This is the Ulanzi. Uh, anamorphic adapter for phone. I have I only have one of these because I technically only need one. I only need one on the main camera But I wanted to do an image test and I want you guys to judge Which one is better? The main thing I need help with is These phones they don't have a singular camera app. The camera app on the S22 Ultra is vastly different from the ROG Phone 6 and from what I can see, it's not a good foundation when it comes to editing because, yeah, the settings are different, even the resolution is different. So I recently transitioned over to using Open Camera, which is a very powerful open source camera app for Android phones. So then when I was testing out the app's capabilities, I ran across something. So apparently the sensor on the main camera on the ROG Phone 6 is larger in pixel size and in actual like physical size than the sensor on the S22 Ultra. Generally, uh, that would mean very little, but I basically just want to get the raw like footage data without any of Samsung's processing, without any of Samsung's like enhancements and without any of the software limitations that the ROG Phone 6 has. And for the first time when I was like comparing the cameras for these two, I didn't know which one looked better. Uh, yeah, so for the next few clips that you're going to see, I am going to be attaching this anamorphic lens adapter to the S22 Ultra, then capturing sample footage. Then I'm going to be doing the same for the ROG Phone 6. And yeah, the comments, please tell me which one looks better because that's going to decide my future like setup when shooting video. I'm hoping that the ROG Phone 6 looks better because technically this captures the raw feed of this camera, which you can access in open camera, is technically of a higher resolution than what you can capture with the S22 Ultra. Just the main camera. So yeah, I hope questions get answered in this video. So anyways, let's transition over to actual 4K and actual anamorphic. Let's go. All right, so yeah, uh, 1.33 anamorphic on the S22 Ultra. All right, the settings that I'm using is 30 FPS, 3840 by 2160p. Uh, and of course, because of the anamorphic lens, it's being squished like really high. If you don't know why filmmakers use anamorphic lens, because, uh, well, ultra wide is 235 to 1, or in this case, 2.33x. Usually how filmmakers used to do that way before anamorphic lenses is just shoot a square image, then put black bars at the top and the bottom. 
which is okay for the most part, but the problem with that, especially in the digital age, is you're wasting a lot of pixels. You're shooting a lot of pixels that you're not going to be using in post. What anamorphic lenses do, it makes the lens a bit wider and it stretches out the image vertically. Then what I can do in post is what I'm going to demonstrate right now, is I'm going to squeeze the frame back to its normal proportions. And yeah, this is the result. I can go very in-depth with anamorphic lenses. I have a film background. I'm used to shooting with anamorphic lenses. But anyway, one big thing about anamorphic lenses, uh, especially the ones with like squeeze factors that are really high, 1.33 is a bit standard for anamorphic lens, is because you're adding like lens complications in front of the actual like lens or the sensor, uh, you're gonna get a whole lot of flares because the light is going to be bouncing through a lot of lenses. So if you hold up a light like this, you get those like really awesome like light flares. Look at that. It's also aided by the fact that to get the anamorphic effect of like being like stretched out, the lens employs uh, cylindrical lenses, not spherical lenses. Cylindrical meaning like the lenses, the lens cutout is shaped like a U instead of like being like part of a sphere. So it's not a spherical lens, it is a cylindrical lens. Anyways, there's an entire like science behind it, uh, which I'm not going to delve into this video too much because it will be like really long. But anyways, please take note of the quality of this video because technically when I switch over to the ROG Phone 6, we're going to be shooting in an even higher uh, resolution which, uh, apart from resizing it or squeezing it in post, I'm going to have to also resize it because that shoots in 1496 by 2160p. So I'm getting even more resolution out of the main cam. And hopefully, if that's better, I'm going to start using the RFG Phone 6 as my main cam and, uh, and the S22 Ultra as my B cam. Anyways, take note of this, and when I switch out to the ROG Phone 6, please tell me which one is better. Alright? I'm too close. Alright, <laughs> that's better. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this is the image from the ROG Phone 6. Hopefully it's better. Hopefully it's better because this is technically the higher resolution camera and yeah, from what I can see, uh, I don't know if you guys are aware, but this is a wireless display on the laptop. I can actually see what the camera is capturing through this screen. This is my, I don't know, this is my monitor. Is it just me? Is it, is, is the ROG Phone 6 beating the S22 camera in video performance for this test? Anyway, I hope, I, I sincerely hope it does. Because I'd like to free up the S22 a bit from its, from some of its like responsibilities when it comes to my own production. If you guys are asking, Kevin, why don't you just shoot with the D DSLR? Just get a wide camera and shoot with, with the DSLR first. Uh, the Sony ZV-E1 is not yet on sale in the Philippines. Second, I kind of just want to challenge myself. Because, yeah, uh, I've been shooting with uh, DSLRs for a really long time now. And I've kind of gotten bored with them. Because it, it, by this point, they've become like kind of like a fire and forget missile for me. Like, point it to something, press record. I'm good, but it's kind of missing that excitement for me. You know, I'm not excited to do that anymore, and I like challenges. I like technical challenges, so yeah, I'm kind of like really drawn into like producing this really high quality content with just smartphones. Hopefully, none of you noticed when I transferred from shooting with an A6400 to shooting with an S22 Ultra because that would be the greatest vindication to my uh, like challenge to myself. Like, oh, 
maybe phones are actually up to the standards of like modern like mid-range dslrs or entry-level dslrs i don't know it <laughs> There's no like overarching like thing I want to prove. Like, oh, I told you phones are like as good as DSLRs. I, I don't have anything like that. I just want to challenge myself like, oh, what if I just shot everything with two phones? <laughs> so yeah, please comment down below which one looks better for you. Uh, does the Samsung S22 Ultra look better or the ROG Phone 6 footage looks better? Well, technically, I'm going to see and post later when I edit this, but yeah, I kind of just want to do this a little bit more democratically. Yeah, you guys get to vote which one, which kind of like footage looks better for my channel, since you guys are the one watching it. Anyways, uh, that concludes this like testing video. Uh, any Everything that I use in my home studio is linked down below in the description if you want to buy it. Uh, those are Amazon links, so anything you buy from there, I'm going to get a little kickback because that's how affiliate because that's how affiliate links work. And yeah, it's all going to go into supporting this channel. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye.